For this footwork exercise, begin with the medial edges of your feet touching and your toes pointing forward. Spread your toes like a frog and leave your toes nice and lengthened on the floor as you do this. Fold your foot at the metatarsal phalangeal joint. That's the joint between your toes and the rest of your foot. And as you do this, press your medial ankle towards your midline. So don't allow the ankle to roll out towards the pinky toe. Instead, keep your ankle pressing towards your median line. And you're going to feel the stretch mostly in your great toe and your second toe, and that's okay. Then add a plie. So folding again at the metatarsal phalangeal joint, that's the joint between your toes and the rest of your foot. Plie, and imagine that your patellas, your kneecaps are like eyeballs, and they want to look in the direction of where your toes are pointing. So your patellas will always traverse and glide directly over the middle of your foot. Try that on the other side, making sure that the medial edge of your ankle is pressing towards the midline. Don't let it sway out to the side, but keep it pressing in. You may feel the muscles, the peroneal muscles on the outside edge of your low leg engaging in order to maintain that alignment, and that's good. Keep those knees traveling forward as you plie. So that's the first part of the exercise. Then, Using your rotator muscles to draw your trochanters back towards your pelvis, rotate your femur bones gently outward to your first position. Repeat that folding of the foot. So you're folding at the metatarsal phalangeal joint, the joint between your toes and the rest of your foot, and the toes are long and lengthened and spread like a frog. You're folding into the first two toes, the great toe, not into the pinky toe, but you're engaging the muscles on the outside edge of your lower leg, the peroneal muscles, to maintain your ankle alignment. And again, with the plie, this time the patellas are going to spread wide, looking side to side as they travel over the center of the foot. Folding, pressing, and adding a plie. Now, imagine your pelvis is like a tray of snacks, and you're going to shift the tray so that your weight is positioned completely over one foot now instead of over two feet. It was evenly positioned over two feet and we're going to shift it 100% to one foot so this leg is free. Whenever you have your weight positioned completely over one leg, this is called the supporting leg. The other leg becomes the gesture leg and it can do a variety of gestures. For now, try plantar flexing your foot or your ankle. So plantar flexing is like reaching your toes. Dorsiflexing is like reaching your heel, pushing your heel. So plantar flexion and dorsiflexion are two actions of the ankle. You can remember because plantar flexion starts the P like pointing, and dorsiflexion is the other one. Plantar flexion, dorsiflexion. Plantar flex your foot, reach your toes, and bend your knee and place your foot at your ankle of your supporting leg. Place the gesture leg with the heel in front and try to wrap the toes around behind. This may feel a little bit awkward and that's okay. It's probably because your legs are very well turned out and it depends on how much ankle flexibility you have. So if this feels really awkward, don't worry. Just keep the intention in your mind that your toes are trying to sneak around behind and your heel is placed in front. Then, keeping your heel positioned on your supporting leg, flex your foot in dorsiflexion and then plantar flexion again. This exercise is really helpful for strengthening the muscles on the bottom of the foot and strengthening the peroneal muscles on the outside edge of the low leg to keep your ankle alignment. When you close the foot, fold through metatarsal phalangeal flexion, or what's called forced arch. Forced arch is when the knee is bent, the heel is lifted, and the toes are on the ground with weight in the foot. And try that on the other side. First, 
shift your weight like a tray so that your gesture leg is free. In dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. In plantar flexion, place the foot on the supporting leg with the heel in front and the toes behind. This position is called sur le coup de pied. Sur le coup de pied. It means at the neck of the foot, and it's kind of like the gesture leg is like a scarf at the neck of the supporting leg. Flexing and pointing here, trying to wrap your toes around behind more and to really connect the sole of your foot to your supporting leg, like a suction cup. And as you close, pass, and stretch the foot in four starts as you pass through metatarsal phalangeal flexion and coming back to first. Then we're just going to rise up onto releve, trying to keep your weight on the first two toes. So you're trying to position your weight on the big toe and the second toe. Again, with some plies. The last thing we're going to do for this exercise is called soup soup. It means over, under, and it looks like this. Soup soup is when we connect the medial edge of one ankle with the lateral edge of the other, and it only works if both legs are turned out. So you're already turned out in first position, and you're supporting your ankles with your peroneal muscles, keeping your weight forward over the first two toes. All you're going to do is cross so that the edges of the feet connect. Now don't cross too much or too little because we want to close up the space so there's, hard, there's no space. It's like you're all zipped up with no leg between. If your legs lose their turnout, you might get this situation and you won't be able to form a susu. So both legs have to be turned out with the heels forward. And remember that the lateral edge of one foot is snuggling up against the medial edge of the other. Here it is from the other direction. As you can see, there's very little light coming between the legs. It's almost like you have one leg. So we're going to practice with releve at first, and we're going to take the outside edge of this foot of the front foot and place it at the inside edge of the back foot. So soup over under, open and come down. Relevé, so soup, open and plié.